What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on uh, Ravnica.com slash Innistrad Weekend. And uh, today we're doing another Vintage Cube stipulation. We're going to do... We're going to try... We tried uh, the Ill Your Skinny stipulation, uh, who is a, a, patron, a patron and a, a subscriber. Uh, that's not the name of the stipulation. Uh, we tried it yesterday. It's we're, we're drafting all the infinite combo pieces that we can find. Uh, I don't know how many infinite combos there are, and sometimes you guys find them after I do, and you're like, there's an infinite combo with these other four cards. And I don't know if that's good enough, but uh, all the obvious infinite combos, we're going to take it, and hopefully we will be able to uh, come out with a pretty sweet playable deck. That is my that is my hope. I don't see any infinite combos in this pack. <clears throat> Must pick gross looking creatures that are not larger than 33. <laughs> all right. Let me see. Let me make sure the stip is all set. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's, the stip is still correct. Oh, list of combos in the vintage cube. That's interesting. Splinter Twin. Fast Bond, Upheaval, Leovold, Wheel Effects, Soulfire, Grandmaster, and Time Walk. Um, that's actually pretty much it. I'm going to take the Mystic Confluence because blue is one of the obvious colors for all of the combos. And it's one of the stronger cards in this in this format. God, High Tide is a combo piece. And there's no other combo pieces as far as I can tell in this pack. Mind Twist is super, super strong, but we're not going for strong here. We're going for High Tide. High Tide with, like, Palancron. That is a combo, as you guys mentioned yesterday. So if we find the Palancron, we'll just take the High Tide Palancron and try to do that. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> that's that, I guess. All right. Well. Hey, Chad, look. We did it, buddy. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Terastodon. Fast Mind, Strip Mind. So if we have Fast Bond for Upheaval, I would also take Crucible and Strip Mine 1000% of the time. So. Uh, actually, Academy Ruins is good with Mind Slaver. So yeah, we'll take the Academy Ruins. This could actually be... Watch Watch us just get all of this stuff. Uh, Crucible and Strip Mine is just a combo. But Crucible and Strip Mine with Fast Bond is... I wouldn't say infinite because you'd kill yourself uh, if you went infinite. But it is a more... Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a combo. Like, you can just go Strip Mine, kill your land, Strip Mine, kill your land. You probably only need five or six iterations of that before they have no lands left. So I don't want to go Storm because Storm is going to literally take up our entire deck, right? And so we're not going to be playing things like other stuff. <laughs> um, I also don't want to go Eureka. Is there somewhere you can find cheat codes for use of the universe? I'd like to have a couple of sh successful called shots every now and then. I'm going to take the Brain Freeze because it is a combo card. I don't know if that's good enough. Uh, I thought I can see us being green blue, so I'm gonna take the Mystic Snake. I do not foresee us being red. But if we want fast bond or upheaval or something like that, then we are gonna have to go green. Uh, infinite's when there's a loop and you can do the iteration infinite times. But uh, also more specifically, if you did the fast bond, like you can do. Fast Bond, Crucible, Strip Mine, Infinite Times. However, because you're paying a life every time you you put an extra land into play, you would die from from Corsair. Or from uh, Strip Mine. From Fast Bond. We got it. Nailed it. Um, I'm going to take the... Oh, we can activate this Infinite Times. That is an infinite... Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go so much so far as to say combo... But it is infinite. 
I took this because theoretically we're playing green, and if we get like Kiki Jiki something else, we might actually go red as well. Sensei's Divining Top Monastery Mentor is kind of a combo, infinite combo. Uh, none of these cards are super exciting. I'm just going to take the top here. Okay, maybe we are just storming. I don't know if storm counts as an infinite combo, but... I don't even know if I like Cabal Ritual. We're not like black. Spencer, I, I've wondered why. I wondered what the reason was that you've been in chat a lot more frequently recently. And I like that it's because you have a computer now. Because now we get to hang out more often. Which is awesome. I feel like Videlkin Shackles is pretty good here because we're actually probably heavy blue, especially with High Tide. Sphinx's Revelation, I feel the same way about. It's not Quagmire. It might be Nyssa, I don't know. Like, none of these cards are super... Edric. Oh, Terastanon could be a combo at some point. I don't know how. Eureka. Alright. Well, Eureka is a combo. It's not an infinite combo, but... Dragonlord of Tarka. Also uh, good with Eureka. Alright, so we're going to put this Eureka package in the sideboard for now. Oh, uh, Tinker is not an infinite combo, but man... Can we change this up to just all the combos? Because we're it's it's hard to get infinite combos unless you're very, very like unless you open very, very specific things. But we're trying here. We're trying to give it a go. It's gotta be Tinker. I don't think it's search. I think Tinker is significantly stronger than uh than Tundra, and also we can get other things to tinker. All right, Zealous Conscripts is a start. That is a card that uh, that we can go infinite with. So you might say we're halfway there. Deceiver Exarch is also a card. All right, we're halfway there. Oh, just all-in combo? That definitely helps. Imperial Recruiter does get... Turnabout's actually pretty good with this with this high tide. What can we do with infinite mana? That's what I want to know. I think it's I think it's turnabout over like Batter Skull. Imperial Recruiter's good, but it only gets like Deceiver Exarch. We'll take the turnabout because of the high tide turn. Natural order. Jace Bellerin is a solid dude. Actually, Brain Freeze and Palancron is pretty infinite with High Tide and Turnabout. That's actually a pretty reasonable combo. Uh, is it just Natural Order? Because that's another combo that we can get like a Terastodon or a Dragonlord of Tarka. It's got to be natural order just because it's very very strong i'm gonna take 
this steam vents here. Garrick Greenson, this is this is actually a great pickup for us. Mind's Desire, that's also a card of Palancron and High Tide. How many lands do we need for High Tide and Palancron? So we need 11 mana, so we need like 6 lands. 6 islands, specifically. Because this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It makes 11. So if you can actually, with 6 lands, you're going to make 12 mana every iteration. And the iteration costs 11. So... So you would net one mana each time. Which is pretty reasonable. Mystical Tutor. Mere Battle Sphere for Tinker is not bad. Mystical Tutor seems like exactly what we want, right? Dreadmang, I heard you, buddy. I, I don't have Fast Bond and Crucible and Stripmine. I have none of those three. <laughs> I also, Mystical Tutor can get us Natural Order uh, or Eureka if we played those. There's no Oriok Salvagers in this cube. No, it's too, I think that's too narrow. Search for tomorrow seems good, especially if we are being green. I don't see us being white, but Search actually lets us get uh, an island or whatever, but I don't think it's... It's not great, but I don't think it's any of those other cards either. Could be a Braid. Maybe it's a Braid. Huh. Zero small green creatures. That is correct. I don't think we're green. Tundra's an island, but we're not really playing white, so... It's probably just Sphinx because of the Tinker. Could also be Plateau, but it's not an island, so. I'm sounding better? I never, I was never sick. I've never, I didn't think I was sounding bad. Lumbering Falls. Maybe we are green. I don't think it's Sword. I don't think it's Lana War Elf. Actually, Awakening Zone's not terrible. It's not, it's not any of those other cards. Stomping Ground is actually pretty good. Marari's Wake. Okay. And a Zergo. Natural Order's in the main board. Uh, it shouldn't be. Unless we're putting Dragon Lord, Tarka, and Terastodon in there as well. Mox Ruby and a Mana Crypt. That's pretty good. Uh, and an upheaval. Oh, dang. Dang. It's got to be Mox Ruby, right? I mean, it's power. It's on color. It helps our red. It counts for storm. Yeah, we're taking the Mox Ruby. Ideally, the upheaval... Com comes back <sighs> Library of Alexandria that's super interesting like the volcanic island is the card I want for the island and the red but like the thing is if we're not if we don't get a like a Kiki Jiki or a Splinter Twin we're not even red Music Manly, what should we what do? What should we sort by? Because there's no real default. Set and collector number, name, color, converted mana cost, or rarity. Which which one is do you, would you feel like is best? It's got to be library here. Trash 
tropical island is a thing. That is also an island. Yeah, I don't think we're missing anything here. Show and tell. That doesn't do much for us. Okay, we'll sort by rarity then. Um, man, opposition is a card, but not a card for us. Right of Flame, I guess? It might just be Right of Flame. We are storming here. It's not ideal, but... I mean, we're not going to play any of these other cards. Brainstorm. Manic Vandal. Gruel Signet could actually be pretty good, especially because it lets us uh, sacrifice for Tinker to get Sphinx of the Steel Wind, which is just a... Just a dude. It could just be Delta. Delta gets us... It just gets us Tropical Island at this point, though. I guess it's Steam Vents as well. But my problem is we only have 15 playables right now. Signet does probably look better than Delta. Tezzeret the Seeker. Do you get anything? God, Yogmoss will. Yogmoss will seems very good for the Storm deck, but we don't have any black sources. I thought this was a fast bond for a second, and I got real excited, but it is not. I mean, we have more playables. We just have to add Natural Order, uh, Dragon Lord of Tarka, Terastodon, Eureka, maybe. Uh, natural Order is not great because we don't actually have a bunch of things to put into play. But we also have Sphinx to steal in Palacron to put into play with Natural Order. Or Eureka, rather. So, we didn't grab Delta. We actually grabbed Gruel Signet. Eureka puts Permanence into play, right? Yeah. Time Spiral, though. That's pretty insane. Oh, I was going to take Nicol Bolas to Eureka it into play. But uh, I think we're just taking this time spiral now. Because we already have Mind Siren Brain Freeze. So we could do the, the double up on the Mana Flare. That's pretty good. This is an extremely late Jitte as well. Mana Flare. Let's see if we can get the Upheaval. Arid Mace is actually pretty okay. We can get Stomping Ground and Steam Vents with it. But Pyretic Ritual is actually a ritual, so we're going to take the Pyretic Ritual. That seems better. Karn. I think Karn and Eureka is actually pretty good. We also have Monastery Mentor top. Yeah, I'm going to take this Karn. We can actually take out the... Uh, what do you call it? The Deceiver Extract. We can leave the Conscripts in because we're probably going to play Eureka here. Yogmoth's Bargain. Ooh. Probably not playing Tinker, but then we do have Worm Coil and Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Sacred Foundry. Is that a card we care about? Probably not, but it's better than the other two, so. Chain Wooler. Okay. 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 Um, We're halfway there. Uh, I don't think we have to splash black here. I mean, we have one black card. Like, right now, we can actually add in Eureka, which is a trap, by the way, but we do have a lot of targets for Eureka. Palancron, Karn, Sphinx, Worm Coil, uh, Dragon Lord, and Terastodon, which is pretty sweet. So we're going to add these two. And then we're going to make one cut. Probably Shackles. We could also splash Revelation and Wake, but we don't have any white sources. Like, we only have Sacred Foundry right now. Uh, I think our... And we can't actually search for it with any of our... 
we don't actually have any fetch lands, so like this is our only white source. I think this deck looks pretty sweet. We can also mystical tutor for Eureka if our hand is super heavy. I like Greaves too if we're gonna play Eureka, and it also lets us it's this thing to sacrifice to Tinker. I don't think I care about top too much though. We don't really have any top combos. I watch when it's good and I watch when it's bad. I appreciate that kind of commitment. This is good stuff. Um, we can keep the Academy Ruins out as well. All right, cool, cool, cool. This deck actually looks pretty interesting. Top Ken Sack to Tinker. Yeah, we can probably cut the Abrade. Uh, actually, I like Abrade. Abrade is super useful. Terastan's non-creature, right? This guy can't destroy creatures. That'd be insane. We also could play the Mystic Snake. I like the Rituals because of Storm, though. All right, we'll take Rite of Flame and add Sensei's Divining Top back. That makes you guys happy, I think. We could also Mystic Snake too, which makes me happy, but... Uh, Conscripts are pretty insane because we have Eureka, and you just steal their best guy, and, and like Conscripts are always just good. You don't have to have a, a combo, and Brain Freeze is pretty much a win condition. We have things like Turnabout, and Time Spiral, and Mind's Desire, and High Tide. So... This deck does be doing too much, you're right. So, Mad Blue. Let's move all these dudes over here. Okay. It's probably just Mono Islands at this point. We have one, two, three, four. We have four green sources. We're only going to cast Eureka. And we also have Girl Signets, so that's five. I can see adding one forest. No swamps. Add you. None of you. Add you. And red, we have one, two, three, four. No you, one you. So this is 8, 9, 10, 11 sources of blue, and also 10 islands, which is pretty good. Yeah, this seems great. <laughs> oh my god, it's Selena Gomez. Swap rank your friends there. Yeah, you know, Selena Gomez stops by and hangs out sometime. Eureka got him, can go both ways, 100%. But I think we're trying to maximize the number of, of targets for... Like, we have a lot of Eureka targets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And even Zealous Conscripts is one I like because you can steal one of their things. And Vidalkin Shackles is another way to steal one of their things that they put into play. I will play first. Do I like this hand? Not really. The Eureka's bad. The Time Spiral's bad. I think we got a mulligan this hand. This hand seems better. I don't think it's great, but we do have a top. Steam Vents, Ruby, top. Then we can top. Uh, I don't actually like Shackles with one island. Big fan. Here we go. Death imminent. You gonna force a Willis? We're gonna be top guy. Island, island, dragon lord of Tarka. Okay. We 
Well then. It's okay, four more lands and we get this Karn out. Oh, Argyle's blood flat blood fast. That's I'm a fan of that card. Wow, I feel like we just put these back. Well, that's never happening. Stop playing lands, and then you won't. You'll be able to. Uh, bleh. I wish this is Sylvan Library. We can just pay two to draw two more. So we can go to four cards. Next time we go to five cards. It's I'm just stuck in the I'm stuck in a loop where it's just this is the infinite combo. The infinite combo, the infinite loop is that uh Sensei's Divining Top is always Island Island Dragon Lord Atarka. It's good times. Uh oh. This is bad news. We're literally I mean, after next turn we're one turn away from Karn, which is pretty good. I feel like a zealous conscripts. Is that a thing I care about, though? So we'll go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so next turn we can just play Karn. Better discard now. Forever hold your peace. You can play Karn this turn by using Turnabout. Um, is that true? Actually, I think you're right. So, we could actually discard Zealous Conscripts, but I don't, I don't think that does anything. Yeah, drawing a target here actually sounds pretty good. Terastodon, also not terrible. We can shoot this and then just... We can attack for 8 next turn, which is pretty good. That's probably going to be better. Um, put these on top like this. Draw a card. And your guy gets smaller. That's pretty good. And we get to steal this guy next turn. I could see that being a... Yeah, this this actually might be lethal. <laughs> we just might kill them. Oh, boy. You got it. Uh, shoot you, shoot you.
never don't have it. Is the top card an island? I guess we'll find out. I'm pretty sure the top card's an island. Are you kidding me? Six and a half. Come on. Come on. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we still do Karn here? One, two. Choose me. Untap all me lands. Let's do a me carn. So we should have Terastodon on top, but that really doesn't do much. Also, if they have an answer, results conscripts are in pretty bad shape. Oh yeah, blocking, 100%. Thousand percent blocks. Well, that should be fine. Well, we knew about you. I'm a fan. I think we just abrade and keep Confluence on top. Or we actually put Confluence on top. Yeah, we're going to abrade the portal. I mean, they have Argyle's Bloodfast, so it's not like they can't draw a card every turn. Recurring Nightmare Exiled, so that's pretty good. Floating One, thank you so much, man. I'm glad you can glad you can finally catch the live stream. I think I flipped this bad boy. Oh, we just win the game. What in the earth? What just happened? They had not they had 5 life and they targeted their own guy. I was like, "Wait, just happened. It didn't say they conceded." That's interesting. <laughs> oh man. Hoisted by their own petard. That's hilarious. I literally was like, 
What just happened? How did we win this game? I don't understand. Wow, that was great. That was great. This hand is really iffy. This seems better. <laughs> oh man, that seems real good. Also, we've seen Go for the Throat. Go for the Throat can't kill a uh, Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Neither can any of the red cards. Oh yeah, that's this is this is gas. You guys are correct. You did tell me about the the the, the top. Pay one. I'll pay this one. I'll use this guy. Oh man, we're going to have Sphinx of the Steel Wind on turn three. My only problem with top is that people don't know how to play it, and it makes... Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we were pretty efficient with our top usage last game, so. Uh, shackles? I kind of just want to draw the Shackles here, especially with their deck. Um, so we're going to go Island, Island, Shackles. All right, your move. Have I embarrassed myself on stream? Now everyone, oh, Hero's Downfall. That's a good choice. Well, now I feel, don't I feel sheepish. Well, that's sad. I was really hoping that we saw Go for the Throat and they would have like red artifact removal, but uh, then they have a Hero's Downfall and it's sad times for everybody. Oh, a pack rat. I'm going to steal that and then discard these things if we can get a black source, which we don't actually have. Harlock, if you're, if you're watching on YouTube, you're doing great. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, good times. I'm going to take this rat. Because that's going to win you the game. Mystical Tutor, does that get us anything that we care about right now? Yeah, let's get Eureka. I, I actually, I actually like Eureka. Um, yep, this is pretty good. This is all very good. Yep, not a fan. Not a fan. I actually like Eureka here because we have a million things to put into play. However, uh, 
Boy, this is a good mulligan to six of the hero's downfall and a Kolagon's command. Did they just deal us two damage? That's interesting. I probably would have made me discard, but what do I know? High Tide? It's actually surprisingly good. Sure. The old high tide turn about to cast worm coil when you're stuck on three lands. A classic. I mean, it's a worm coil. This friggin' snake beats it, but, you know. They just get a snake every turn. But, I mean, it does, it holds them off for a, for a while. Who wins? One 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 snack or or one wormy boy? The snack. We're at a point where Exum is pretty bad because thinks of the steel wind. Yeah, rats always win. That's the problem. We do have Mystic Confluence now. We can actually bounce three rats, which is pretty cool. Woodfall Primmy. I'm waiting for the living death. We could also Mystical Tutor and get, like, Time Spiral and then Mystic Confluence to draw a million cards at the end of the turn, maybe. And then go land Time Spiral. I, mean, I, think, I think I said High Tide, I meant Time Spiral. Yeah, that's not happening. All right. Cast. I actually think we want to bounce these guys. Actually, we probably just want to draw cards. How do we actually survive, though? Rats are going to... Like, they have to make a lot more rats for them to actually be impactful. Not to, What do we say to a recurring nightmare? Not today. Oh, that's actually really good. Oh, now we're now we're getting somewhere. Now we Mystical Tutor for Time Spiral, and Mana Flare Out is pretty ridiculous. So if we if we go one for Tutor, one, two, three, and then we're, we're actually too short. Hmm, it's interesting. One, two. So next turn we can actually go one, two, three for Mana Flare, play Time Spiral, have a million mana left over. That seems good.
All right, let's do it. We got one more. We need one more turn. Uh, an eighth rel draft as a step. Um, yeah, just make sure you're clear about what we do if there's no option. Like if there's no B card, we have to take a C card. Um, and I I, I warn you in advance, Valley Man, that uh, that may result in a deck that's less than playable. Because we're just taking, we're not, we have no real, like you can't you can't choose the type of fixing you get, and you also can't choose the cards you get. So you're kind of uh. You're very, very much at the mercy of the letters in that in that kind of stipulation. All right, let's see what happens. Anything else stronger? No, it's definitely time spiral here. Yeah, they're gonna make two rats, but ideally we're just gonna kill them. And then we get 12 mana to do whatever we want with. And we haven't played a land this turn, so if we do get a green, we can cast something. No, we really do. Well, they can't go for four rats. They only have two cards. We played Mana Flare and Time Spiral, so that's actually pretty good. And we get to shuffle in all the cards like High Tide, Turnabout, what have you. So ideally, we're going to win. But could just be a hot mess. Exhum and a Dragon Lord of Tarka. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. This is a lot of mana. a lot of mana is there any chance we can kill them with this much mana a Tarka and this is 14 damage I don't think so we'd have to tap down their guys and we also need turnabout to lumbering falls our tinker target right now is sphinx of the steel wind god we have a lot of things in our hand though One, two, so we have 12 mana. We turn about. We used four of it for, for eight. I'm pretty sure we play Lumbering Falls first because we want the green for Dragon Lord of Tarka. The problem with Librarying is that it takes away two mana. Actually, it might take away four mana because we're adding two and then we're turnabouting for four. So we want to make sure we do this correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. All right. It's definitely not infinite mana but it is a lot yeah and they can also make two rats in response that's correct so okay I heard you say draw off library uh, I, I've, I have heard it I'm not sure if that's correct though because one more card might not matter when we can make four mana off of a library of Alexandra one card may not be worth four mana if it is a land or a mox or something so noted we're going to have to tap four, two mana. So now we're going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to turn about to make another two from this. If we tap this for, actually, we're only, we're only losing two mana, I guess, because we're still untapping it. It only costs two mana. That's actually a good point. Okay. Um, why four? You only lose two mana. Oh, because I just miscounted. That's why. Um, yeah, so we're going to go... I still don't think it's two, three, four, five, six. Turn about myself. One, two. We'll add. We'll name lands and we'll choose to untap them. Okay. Um, so we have six, seven, eight. I 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, and 22. We have 22 mana, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we have plenty of mana to do everything we want to do. We're probably going to steal a rat, which makes them 4 4s. Kill one rat, which makes them. Steal two rats, basically. I mean, they can just make more rats, though, so it's very hard to to kill the rats. We can seal a 5-5 five, five rat, but it's only going to be a 1-1 one, one rat after that, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1. Okay. Actually, alternatively, it might have been better to kill one of the... Actually, we probably should have stolen the Ophiomancer with Vidalcan Shackles. But I guess we can steal a rad with it. Making a rat in the world today. Your draft can only contain... All right, let me give me one second. Earthador, your draft can only contain even converted mana costs or odd converted mana cost cards. You don't have to decide which until you build the deck, so you can leave your options open. You're allowed to change between even or odd when sideboarding if you can manage that. Oh, wow, that seems rough. Sure. Yep. Rats for days. Do we just take this? If we take this rat, it just dies. If we take this rat, yeah, we're just gonna have to take this rat now. Actually, do we tinker? The shackles is actually pretty useless here, I think. We might just tinker the uh, the other dude. One. Because we can't actually steal anything with this anyway, so. Yeah, we'll get a Sphinx here. This seems like a better attack because we get to at least survive a rat. I think we're still dead. I don't think we're alive here. Now we're going to find out if the top card was actually worth anything. They have to just alpha here, right? Block, 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 block. This guy has first strike, but it doesn't matter because they have... They can make infinite rats. Should have pinged another rat and stole it with shackles. Yeah, but we didn't. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like, there's a lot of things to do that turn. I guess that's true. The top card has changed because we tinkered, so... Ten mana. Just a hard cast crystal brand. I mean, can you imagine if we hit something like Mind's Desire or Brainstorm off there? Brain Freeze.
There's a lot of pack rat tokens. I don't think you can overvalue pack rat. I think it's actually pretty pretty reasonable. We have four blockers. One, two, three, four. Nine, eight. I mean, we have worm coil and the other dude. You're gonna animate. You're gonna re an animate dead a pack rat. That's pretty comical. I'm gonna F6 here because we have nothing to do. So I'm just gonna save my own time. I mean, if we can actually survive with this guy and this guy, we win. One, two. But we can't. We can't do that. There's no way that happens. How does he copy it? What do you mean? What are you saying right now? What are you asking, Zichi? Exhum. Ah, oh, 10 10 pack rats. One. So if I block like this. I take 10, 20, 30, and I gain 12, so I die. So we actually have to block here. Yep, that's pretty sad. And they don't go down to nine nines because reasons. And one time. Gruel Signet, ooh, that's a goodie. And we're gonna go to the next game. Okay. All right. I almost want Mystic Snake in here just because they have a lot of things that we can Mystic Snake. Shackles actually seems a little bit weaker because all their guys are really, really big. Except for like Ophiomancer, but whatever. God, Ophiomancer was a real pain in that, in that matchup. Oh, uh, that is indeed on the card. Yes, discard a card to make a copy of Pack Rat. I will play first. Oh, this is the hand, isn't it? Where everybody knows your name. This guy again? This old song and dance? Hmm. Intriguing. One, two, three, four, five, mana flare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's draw a turnabout and just do very, very good. Let's do very, very good. Okay, rat seems fine. I accept. It's very similar to a turnabout. Hmm. 
Is it just tutor or draw with library? But then we have to discard, right? We go to seven, we draw it, we can play land. Yeah, let's do that. I like Confluence too, but we're actually just going to try to do some shenanigans next turn. Sure. So we're going to go Ruby, Turnabout, Flare, Mind's Desire, Brain Freeze maybe? Okay. Let's pay for that. Um... Play you. One, two, three. Mana flare. One, two, three. Let's get green actually. Turn about, target ourselves. One, two. Name land, untap all the lands. Storm counts three. We could Mind's Desire for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We could steal Sneak Attack, put Dragon Lord of Tarka into play for free, and then still have. Red, red. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five, six to activate, and then another six. Um, one, two, three. Steal this. Use a red, put you into play. Two and two. Okay. Mind's desire for a million. Terastodon, Palancron. Island, Mystic Confluence, wow, okay. Palancron, we'll cast you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, put the Greaves on you. Terastodon, cast you. Get rid of this, uh, this and this. Uh, yep. Mystic Confluence will bounce these two, draw a card. Play Worm Coil Engine. Uh, equip the Greaves on you instead. Actually, can we just win here? 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we'll just win. That's exactly. <laughs> and we'll 20 you for Exaxes. Hooey! That's a choice, boys. Uh, that was the probably the best Minds is our hit ever. Uh, I had a good time. I don't know. How about you guys? Do you guys have a good time? I had a good time. That was real nice for the sneak attack. Thanks, thanks, buddy. All right. Well, even if we lose the next two matches, that was still gas. So I am okay with it. However, this hand seems pretty reasonable. Turn three mana flare into turn four Atarka seems like a reasonable thing to do. I mean, assuming they're playing fair, right? <laughs> I can see you typing to me. Good. 
I hope you can see. I hope you. I hope you're watching it. Oh wow! <laughs> Gas. Oh man, that's fantastic. I'm gonna do the O face. Have we done an all removal step? We have not. Let me actually grab that Earthador step. Been watching events on YouTube recently. Thanks for the content. Alright, let's do it. I guess Lumbering Falls is too. They're like, Lumbering Falls, they're like, oh wow. I can't. To take two or not to take two? That is the question. I'll take two. I'll keep this a braid up. I have a feeling that something's going to come down that we're going to abraid. It's going to be Corsair of Crew Fix and then we're going to feel real dumb. They didn't do anything. We just took two. We just threw, threw two life in the trash can. Is our mana flare better than their mana flare? That's the question. If we untap, give them eight mana, is that... They can just go to Rastodon and kill our three lands. Kill two lands and a mana flare. Oh, God. Yeah, that seems risky. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid that situation. They probably are holding up the counter. The mana tide, that is. Yep, you got it. We can Karn or Tarka what they're going to do, unless what they do is, like, their own Karn, kill my mana flare, or, you know, Ugin exile mana flare, and then we're just like, oh, cool, you just got eight mana and we did nothing. It's a hard no. All right. Yeah, I think we just wait for for Mr. Confluence. Hmm. Well, <laughs> two lands. I'll take it. Well, now I feel like we kind of risk it. We can also just high tide Mystic Confluence next turn, which seems pretty good. If we high tide, we can go one, two, three, mana flare, and then we have one, two, three on this. That's not ideal. What does risking the mana flare do here? We can go high tide next turn for one, and then we'll net one from the mana flare. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're just going to keep confluence up. Because if we get to Confluence... I'm going to Confluence that.
mean, it doesn't matter. We just save one, one man anyway, so. So we net one with the stupid pyretic ritual. Do we just mana flare here? Like, not hitting a land in those three cards is pretty comical to me. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna have to do it. <sighs> I mean, we can go. No, we can't go infinite mana. You need eleven mana to go infinite with Palancron. Not eight is very very far from going infinite with Palancron. Let alone the fact that without Mana Flare we could not even cast Palancron. I mean, this is it. This is our moment. Like, it's like, if you... You can do whatever you want, as long as it doesn't affect me. That's really how I feel right now. Wait, maybe I had five mana with the Ritual. I would have rather had the Ritual in hand than the High Tide in order to cast uh, Mythic Com Mystic Confluence, but here we go. It's literally going to be Mind Twist for seven. That's not a mind twist for seven. <laughs> Get, come on, dude. I mean, Deranged Term of Vindicate is not the worst, I guess. Sure. I was going to actually abrade that guy if they paid. Cool. I'm having a good time. Two recurring nightmare deck. I mean, if we can hit lands, we'd be in great shape. Because even last turn, we could have played Worm Coil or Mind's Desire. Which is not ideal, but I mean, it's still something. I don't actually know what we can draw here. <laughs> it ain't that, that's for sure. That's not what I wanted to do, but it worked out well. Actually, I mean, it didn't really, because we still have... Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. We can't beat, like, Infinite Squirrels when we have a top on top. Okay. Chain Whirler comically seems good, but we only have, like, five sources of red, so I'm not really super into that. I do like a Mystic Snake. <sighs> all right I will play first I mean, I'm just going to keep all opening hands that have library in them, so. Dodging my nonsense questions, Buck. What was your questions, Beef Supreme? 
Follow the question, Keith. <laughs> are hot dogs the gateway meat to sausage, or are sausages the gateway? I think hot dogs are the gateway meat to sausage. I think hot dogs are what like you you give them to kids. Uh, you know, that's when you're introduced to hot dogs, and then when you grow up, you're like, ooh, now I like sausage because it's a more mature meat. Um, and I personally can't see why kids. I mean, I think everyone can see why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch, right? It's all over the, it's all over the texture. So yeah. Lumbering Falls. Forest? Actually, Forest is pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Ironically, him did win that game because we didn't actually draw another land for the rest of the game. Wow, this is aggressive. Did they keep the old uh, one land Vampiric Tutor hand and then just use the Vampiric Tutor as a second land? Well, next time we get to keep up Mystic Snaku. Actually, we'll draw a card here because if we hit like Mox, we can play it. Mystic Confluence. Now we gotta discard it. That was stupid. Which what? Alexa! Alexa stop! What, what even happened there? We'll get rid of Terastodon. And hope they don't have a Reanimate because that would be sad. We would die to our own Reanimate. I was going to wait to draw, and then I was like, oh, wait, we're not at hand because we were only at seven. And then I forgot we drew, so that's really sad. Well, that's worse. Wow. Are you kidding me right now? That's terrible. <sighs> that's so bad. Okay, recovery. They missed the land drop, and we're just fine. It's okay, we're just fine. Yeah, that's fine. We're probably going to draw during our upkeep, um, because if we don't hit a land off the top, we actually just have to discard. So if we draw, we increase our chance of hitting a land. I guess we could just time spiral actually. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's fine because we have the abrade. If we hit, let's hit an island. That is an island, boys. Card, I suppose. I feel like this hand is just worse than the previous hand. Oh, come on. This is just brutal. Yeah, I think we just lose the game here on the spot. <laughs> this hand is terrible. <sighs> Starts backing out of the room. Yeah, that seems about accurate. All right. Well, we're going to get hit for a million. Which might be good in this situation, because then we can top again. That was so bad. I mean, I assumed untapping with uh, one, like an, an eight, eight cards and, and eight mana would have been great, but apparently not. There were a lot of things we could have hit there. I mean, theoretically, it might have been better to just kill the sword because they were in bad shape. 
Watch, it's going to be three trash cards and seven good cards. Yeah, those are all... Eh, Karn Liberated is, is a pretty painful guy to... Yeah, all this is fine. We can draw Mystical Tutor. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven cards. Huh. I actually like Mystic Confluence here, but we can't cast it, unfortunately. Play to land this turn. We could just get Tinker. What does that get? Worm Coil Engine? It's not terrible. We also go to like five cards. Oh, we're not. Get rid of you. Draw a card. And we'll pass here. I've actually said D mode the other day, and it was apparently the only person among us who got the reference, and I suddenly knew what Swell Mike must have felt like that faithful stream day. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. We go to one here. <laughs> that's not terrible. Four cards, let's I think we're losing this match. Well, that's not going to do it, is it? Watch this nonsense. So three, let's draw a card. All the good, all the good cards are gone. I don't know what the last three cards are. Mystic Snake. All right, we're just gonna scoop here. We can mine Zara for two, and then we die next turn. So, yeah, this was not that was not our finest moment. Mike, I forgive you, buddy. Yeah, that match one was gas. I haven't used... I actually haven't been using my soundboard as much for some reason. No real reason. I don't know why. I think I just get too involved with the Vintage Cube. I'm just like... No way, gotta... Okay, I don't like to rest it on Mind Zyro, Lightning Greaves, and Opening Hand. Especially with no red and two red cards. This hand is pretty unplayable. Library Hand is significantly better. We're on the draw, too, so we can go Library and then next turn draw a card. Perfect. Uh, I don't think we want that, actually. Uh... 
Let's draw. Draw. Ooh, play Raging Green. That guy always comes into play tapped. So we can actually go seven, go to eight, go land, rule signet, go to six, and ideally draw on a braid here. And a flare. Land. A braid here. All right, well. It's okay. We're all we're all doing the thing. Solemn Tanglewire Sundering Titan. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no sol no no Sundering Titan? That's intriguing. And they had their own abrade. Alright, so Solemn Simulacrum is gone. This is a good Eureka hand. And Tangle Wire tapping all of my things. If we can hit an abrade here, that'd be pretty sick. I'm still waiting on that abrade that we had to shuffle away. Sure. <laughs> oh god, you, you... What a troll. Well... I can't, can't, can't take my baby away. I took her away. Away from me. Wow. Next card was a braid. We could have actually tapped this. Or uh, tap the blue, Mystical Tutor, get a braid, draw the braid with the library. We actually couldn't have done that because we wouldn't have had seven cards. Or we could have, we could have, ca we could have tapped this to draw the card with the ability on a stack. Uh, cast Mystical Tutor, but then we would have only had one land. This would have been tapped during upkeep, and then we would have only had one land during our turn, so. Three things, huh? One, two, three. Pretty sure we're just going to tap out here. We're going to draw a card. We're going to kill... What's a braid in such a way that we can... Yep. Tap you. And I think we're good to go. I don't think we're... Tutoring for anything. We can we can tutor for a mystical confluence next turn, but uh a braid busted in like the Kool-Aid man. It sure did. It sure did. Uh Judge Act 44, it will probably be up. I have Wednesday covered, I have morning Thursday Thursday night, maybe. Uh, we have multiple ritual effects. We have uh, actually, we just I think we just have pyretic in the main deck. Sure, that's fine. I really don't want a mana confluence until we can mana flare until we can actually like knowing you have sundering titan. Both mana mana flare and eureka are pretty bad, which is really sad. Well, that's pretty. I'm 
That's pretty good. All right, all right. I do feel like this library is doing some work though. Waka waka waka. Metamorph. <sighs> Do you copy Tangle Wire here? Because that's so obnoxious. Oh, Worn Power Stone. That's so much better for us. We do have one right of uh right of something in the board. Oh, we can tap these lightning greaves too. I'm real tempted to uh They have two cards. Unban Skull Clamp. Baby, how do you feel about a Skull Clamp unban? Um not good. So we, if we draw one, two, and then we'll have yeah, we're gonna draw a card. And then we're gonna this guy. And we'll go to Confluence. Go to the old main arena. Play land. And pass. Seems good. I was really tempted to go post post birthday vintage cube drafts. I was super tempted to do it. The kick and took my baby away. This is super interesting. What's going on here? Like you saw us get this, right? All right, well, that was interesting. I wonder if your last card is just better. <sighs> Zealous Conscripts. One, two, three, five. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty sweet turn. Are you guys ready for the cool turn? Eureka is bad, but there's a stipulation, so. Here we go. This is what they wanted to resolve by making us counter the Sundering Titan, I imagine. Yep, that's a good one. We still get to keep this, though. So what do you even exile here? Is all conscripts and lightning greaves? Interesting. Sells so conscripts and a library of Alexandria. I mean, if we draw any creature here, it's very, very good. It probably just kills you because it gets haste. That's an interesting one, isn't it? That's an interesting one, isn't it? We can give one of them haste. We can give the 9 9 haste and they just block it. So I guess we're just going to play that guy and make... Oh, we just died, don't we? This is 20 cards? That's brutal. Well, 
Where'd all the cards in our library go, I wonder? Huh. One, two, three. I don't think we're dead yet. We can go one, two, three for Mana Flare. We can Eureka and possibly activate this? No, we're one green shy. Huh. Why not Eureka? Like, <sighs> Trop only makes two green, which which we can use for Eureka, which puts Terastodon into play, which kills a bunch of things. It's not gonna. I doubt they're gonna get a blocker. Oh, Eureka puts lands in. Oh boy. Done. Yeah, I think we can actually win here. Oh, that's gas. Forest. What do you got? Corsha portal? Done. Yes. Lumbering Falls. Terastodon. Um, done. Terastodon will destroy Mox. Island. Island. And that should win us the game. You just had to find the line, ladies and gentlemen. If we hard cast it, we wouldn't have green to activate Raging Ravine, so we couldn't have done that. That is incorrect. Hard casting it uses all of our green. And then we have nothing to activate the land. We need two attackers. We need one with haste. And the land, which also has haste. I like Mystic Snake. Yeah, we were going to move Greaves. That is the plan. Yes, we move Greaves onto one of the attackers. Then we have three attackers. They can block one. They take six in the air and three on the ground. You guys are literally just telling me the exact things that we were going to do. That's, that's, isn't that cute? Song is pretty reasonable as well. Um, I don't think I actually like Pyretic Ritual. I think it's kind of doo-doo. And I think everything else seems pretty good. Exarch Tap Down Ulamog is pretty reasonable. Achievement unlocked one after casting Eureka. Sweet. This hand's pretty rough. But any land we get to Gruel Signet into Tinker, which seems pretty strong against their red blue deck. And we're on the draw. I'll risk it for the biscuit. Lumbering Falls. Oh, I'll take it. I accept. I accept your generous offering of a forest, Magic Guns. We're going to play cards, and then we're going to have effects from those cards. That is correct. Nailed it. This is a nice Eureka hand, actually. I'll put in Karn and Dragonlord Tarka into play. Give me a land so they don't feel like I'm falling behind. Well, that's not very nice. I feel like this is correct. They don't have black removal now, so the most they can probably do is bounce this guy or use an artifact of some sort. It's got pro-red. Yeah, that's fine. 
would still appreciate a land here. Maybe a steam vents. That'd be nice. Or uh, just a old, an old timey island. Well, turnabout. That's it's like a land. <laughs> oh, ah, we're having a good time. It's a sore of temptation. I mean, you've missed two land drops, so. Are you serious right now? Yeah, cool. And that'll do. We had a good run. By good run, I mean bad run. keep any hand with a library is just such a good such an instant keep oh went to six deal oh went to five and then they snapped it off so they're like this is a great five card hand we're gonna go turn three metal worker into sundering tight Ideally, this amount of card advantage just spirals out of control, but we shall see. Land. Draw a card. Signet. Pass. This is a lot of islands, which is nice. Mana Flare. Land. Draw a card. A Braid. That seems good. <laughs> that seems great. That's where I want to be in my, in my life. Hanger back for two. Can I steal that? And sacrifice to Tinker. Time spiral. Land. One, two, three shackles. I'm going to steal this now because I don't know what they have. Oh, dang it. I messed up. I messed up, guys. And eh, we'll just draw a card next turn, which is worse. That is definitely worse. Yep. Draw a card. I don't think we have any reason to play that. We can just play this guy, right? They have Sower of Temptation. One, two, three, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. What if we go, what if we go Mana Flare, High Tide, Mind's Desire, Time Spiral. We have everything in hand, right? Let's do it. No no gamble, no future. They have two cards in hand. Uh, 
I will choose me. I will untap my lands. That's a lot of things. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is what? 6, 12, 18. We can do all of these things. So I can go this guy. Yep, let's see what happens here. That's not good. Oh, that's good. You may play that card without paying its mana cost until the end of the turn. Okay. So we'll cast a Mox Ruby. We'll Time Spiral. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, do we play a land this turn? I think so. We played an island, so we don't get actually. We don't actually have green mana, unfortunately. Uh, one, two. Okay, and we just win the game. Seems good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, that was the Ooh, your skinny stipulation. We didn't actually get any infinite combos, but the things we did do seemed pretty ridiculous. And that was, I guess we were going infinite in that last game. I don't know. Hard to tell. Hopefully that's good. Hopefully that's acceptable. Hopefully that was a reasonable uh, amount of combo things that happened in all our matches, including the Eureka and the Mind's Desire and the Time Spirals, etc., etc. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to supply your own stipulation or uh, help me on Patreon or Twitch or whatever, check my links in the com in the description below. There's uh, links for both those things down there. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.